Welcome everyone to Find Your Fire Friday. I am Wendy Yoching, founder of the Healing Spaces Caribbean Consultancy and tribe mom of the Find Your Fire tribe. And every Friday we have a chi lifting event with an interesting speaker on a fascinating topic. Today I have with me Diana Ruskowski. Did I say that right? Did, yes. She is going to be sharing with us her wisdom about essential oils and essential oils covers a whole bunch of amazing things. So Diana, I'm going to hand over to you and please, the floor is yours. Welcome. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, everyone. And for those who are live um, on Facebook, please comment throughout the session. And at the end, I will go back and make sure that I answer any questions that you have. And I know um, for those of you who are joining live on um, Zoom, you have some questions as well. So I'll make sure I address those as we go through. I want this to be super interactive. So ask questions, feel free to interrupt. Um, but I always like to start off with sharing my journey and why I'm so passionate about essential oils. I specifically, everything I talk about today is going to be about young living oils. Those are the oils that I have the most experience with um, and where I will share my stories from. So I also wanna cover what they are. So just giving you a basic understanding of what essential oils are, how you can use them and why quality matters. That's really, really important, especially when you're putting oils on your skin. And I know a couple of women had questions about your face. It's really, really important to make sure that you use high, um, high quality grade oils. So I'll talk about that. So first let me share my story. So I have been using Young Living essential oils for about four years in August. And I really, um, I was raised with sort of a natural path, natural point of view. And I would go to chiropractors when I was sick. I would go to a natural path if we didn't feel well. And so I always had an open mindset to alternative things. Um, I had my first baby about uh, six and a half years ago and I suffered from postpartum pretty bad. I felt like I kind of lost who I was for uh, a good year plus. And so when I became pregnant with my second, that was my biggest concern um, was that postpartum depression. And so I started looking for alternative ways to support myself. And I um, walked into a yoga studio because I was doing prenatal yoga and loved the way the studio smelled and the rest is history. Um, I did tons and tons of research and found a lot of things that helped support me emotionally after I had my baby. Um, it's helped support the balancing of my hormones. And then, you know, within four years, I've really explored a lot of their other different products that's really helped. Um, but that emotional support um, was through four different oils that, uh, you know, I'll talk about briefly, but it's a particular protocol I did every day. And it's with one oil, which I absolutely love. It's called Valor. And most of what I'm going to talk about are basic oils, but they come in like this premium starter kit that you can get through Young Living. And Valor um, is one of my ultimate favorite. I wish that I could somehow get you guys to smell how amazing this is. This is the disadvantage of doing online um, like classes, but it has a beautiful dark blue color and I put it on my wrist every single day. And this was, you know, an oil that I used every single day that really helped me um, from avoiding postpartum. And so my experience and my passion um, really came from that. Like I was able to be myself. I didn't have to go back to that dark place again. And that's what really drives me in sharing um, my love and my experiences with these products. So I, I put joy. This is the, it's called the, uh, Gary Young Daily Protocol. So I put this on my wrists and it's amazing because the, the purpose of this oil is to create balance within your body. So when I put it on my wrists, I always like to close my eyes and take a few deep breaths and you feel your body sort of pulsating. And um, after a minute or two, that pulsation will come to a full and complete balance. And so it's amazing that within a minute or two, I can feel my body reacting to the oil that I put on and for it to create a sense of calm for me. This is a, an, an amazing oil for emotional support. I use this when I'm stressed. I use this when I'm feeling overwhelmed. I use this when I'm feeling really blue 
and it really pulls me out of that. Um, and it's a combination of these four oils that I'll talk about, but I'm jumping right in, I'm sorry. But joy, I love to put this on my heart. Um, I also, you know, I think many of you can probably relate to smelling something and having a memory attached to it. This reminds me of my great grandmother because it smells very much like her. So this has also a very special place. Uh, so I put this on my wrist, this on my heart. It's called joy. And then harmony, I put over my belly button. Um, and that creates also uh, a sense of balance and harmony within my body. And then I do white angelica and I put that on my hands and I start from the top of my head and I almost like visually put a shield over my body. And this oil is meant for protection. So protection from negative energy from others and also from your own negative thoughts. And so these four are the, the protocol that really, I do every single day. Um, and it always sets me off on the right foot from the beginning of the day. So I jumped right into that. I kind of didn't start with what is an essential oil? <laughs> I get very excited. Um, so essential oils are, are really, if you could think about, it's the petal, it's the stem, it's the bark, it's any part of um, Mother Earth that is boiled down and distilled um, in all different ways to get you know, the essential oil that comes out, um, out of these bottles. And I got to experience it firsthand, which was really cool. And I'll share that um, in a second. But they're really, you know, the oils are, within all of the things when you go outside. Um, and Gary Young, who's the founder of Young Living, you know, figured out different ways to extract that in ways that allows for these to be um, very, very high quality and therefore therapeutic. Yes, Wendy. Diana, I have some people on, the, um, on Facebook and, and one of them, Karen, is saying yeah. that she loves Young, she loves Young Living and yep. she, loves Vala. It gives emotional support and increases courage. And she also said that she calls it chiropractor in a bottle and she puts it across the top of her shoulders on, on her spine. And those resonate with you? They do. Yes. I've heard that. Um, I've also watched videos, but never done it myself that people can put it down their spine or on top of their shoulders and their feet will be misaligned before that. And it, their body adjusts. Um, I've never seen it like in person, but I've watched videos. So this, yeah, this can be, um, that, that, that's why I say this is one of my favorites because it's so universal, the valor. Um, and then a lot of people, I often get questions about like, how exactly do I use essential oil? So, you know, when I, when someone gets like this package in the mail or they get, you know, one or two that they've picked that they're, that are their favorites, how do, how do I use them? And there's three different ways. So the first is topically. So that's exactly what I just did before, putting it on your skin. You can put them in all different places. I you know, put, like to put peppermint on the back of my neck because peppermint is great for headaches, tension. Um, you can put oils on your feet. If you're really new to essential oils, I always like to say, start low and slow. So put them on the bottom of your feet, your feet, your feet. And as you get more comfortable, um, you can try them in other places. And depending on the oil and their purpose, that's you know where I would place it. So if, if it's for respiratory support, I, I put it on my chest or I'll put it on my sinuses if I'm congested. Um, so it really depends too on the purpose of the oil and where you put it. So that's, that's one, so that's topically. The second is aromatically. Um, so that could even just be putting it on your hands and smelling it, we call this a cement, uh, uh, scent tent in the oily world, but it gives the opportunity for you to kind of inhale um, the scent and the power of the essential oil. And because the essential oils are coming from Mother Earth, your body knows exactly what it needs to do with it. And within like five nanoseconds, your the oils are interacting with your brain and you know doing what they need to do. Um, so you can do it that way. One of my favorites, especially over the last few years, when I'm always working from home, I diffuse and they have ton. Young Living has so many beautiful diffusers. Now, this one comes with that kit that I'm talking about. And you just you take the top off here, you fill this with water, put a couple drops in and then you turn it on. This glows into all different colors. It's really pretty. 
Um, there's hand blown glass ones. I have one right that I'm staring at in my office. They have black lanterns, just so many different choices, especially for all um, those who are uh, designers uh, on the call. Um, it's not just sort of this plastic one here that comes that it comes with, but that's so that's one choice too. You can diffuse it into the air. And then the last is internally. So you can um, drop particular oils under your tongue. I like to put thieves, which I'll talk about in a second, in on honey in hot water if I'm feeling sort of sick or my throat is super itchy or sore. And then you can also, they have these veggie capsules and I do this for, for some things. Um, you can put them in a veggie capsule and swallow them like you would like a normal supplement. Um, so the three ways to use them are topical, aromatic, and internally. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about before we kind of dive into some of my key favorites um, is quality and why quality matters. So Young Living has something called seed to seal. And that is that means that they literally have control from when, and I got to see this firsthand, so I'll, I'll short share that experience. But it, it starts from the seed that they're growing in their greenhouse to seal. So they have full control over everything. So they can guarantee the quality of your oils. I think oil, essential oils have become majorly mainstream. So you can have access to them anywhere. You could buy them on Amazon. You, you go to a grocery store, you can buy them. The difference is I always like to picture sort of like a food pyramid. Um, you can also categorize the grade of your essential oils um, because, you know, you can get standard ones at a grocery store, high therapeutic grade oils, which is what I talk about today, is at the very tippy top. That means that they are 100% pure and 100%, um, well, they're 100% they're, they're pure. Some of the oils that you can get in the supermarket can say they're 100%, but you wanna be very careful because they can have synthetic lavender. So lavender is a perfect example. You know, Maybe 50% of what's in that bottle is actual lavender oil, but the rest of it is synthetic. Um, and that's why the price, there's a price differentiation um, between like a Young Living. So a bottle of lavender like this, I think is, uh, well, normally I, you can purchase just this size. This is 15 milliliters. This would be, lavender would be like $20. In the supermarket, you might be able to get it for eight. And that's the difference is the quality. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. I always growing up had an aversion to lavender. I thought I was um, allergic to it. And now I realize that it was because I was smelling the synthetic version of that and having a reaction, not, not the actual lavender itself. Um, so that's one thing to keep, to keep um, in mind. And so last year I got to see this process um, in person. And I left that trip feeling so much conviction, even more conviction for these products, because I got to meet the people who are, you know, working on the fields, who harvest the plants, who are growing the plants in the greenhouse, um, the scientists who are testing the quality of the oils. And it's just amazing to see that over the years, they, you know, they've articulated down to the hour of the day, the time of the year, how long the product should sit out and dry before they distill, or how quickly from when they cut it to getting it into the distiller, um, how that all matters to the, the, you know, the constituents, which are all the goodies that I, that I talk about that are in that oil to help you. And so that was just absolutely amazing to see in person. I got to go to a, um, a lavender field out west in Utah, and then I also got to go to their tree farm. Um, they have a whole series of tree oils, which I love because they're super, super grounding. Um, and I got to see how they distilled those as well. So they, they distill all different parts, like the bark, the, the tree branches, et cetera. So it was really, really cool to see that um, firsthand. And so if anyone ever asks me, why do these oils seem so much more expensive? I not only can explain just because of what I've been told, but I can share firsthand that there's an individual, you know, with their bare hands pulling weeds from the field because they don't use pesticides, herbicides, nothing. It's completely organic, completely sustainable for those 
who are very conscious of the environment. Um, this company in particular does just an amazing job of making sure there's very limited waste out in the field. It's really, really, really cool. I could talk about it forever, but I won't. Um, so I wanted to start um, the oils that I'll talk about today. And I'm gonna kind of ask everyone to pop back into the chat too and tell me which of these categories make the most sense to you. Um, oh, Wendy, you got a question? Yes, Diana, before you go um, into asking them about more chats, there's some stuff in the chat for you to look at right now. Perhaps you wanna look at that from the first question. Yes, okay. So the first oil I mentioned, that was a question from Helen, was Valor. That's the purple oil that I put on my wrists. It's called Valor, V-A-L-O-R. And then, yes, yeah, so Steve's oil, Kathleen, that is, that is gonna be one of the ones that I talk about, even if someone says they don't wanna hear about immunity because that um, I have seen firsthand how thieves, so, and it's a cool story um, of why it's called thieves. It's a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And so it is given the name thieves because back in the day during the Black Plague, there were people obviously stealing and they put those essential oils in their rags over their faces when they were going and stealing things from, from people. And they did not get sick as a result of using those essential oils. And that's why it's called Thieves. So I, I think that's a, a pretty cool thing I always like to share. Um, but this is my number one oil for immunity support. And I use it all different ways. And when I say I, I also mean my family. So my six-year-old, you know, when she was the first couple of years of her life, we didn't use essential oils. Um, and she was in daycare from when she was four months old. So she got sick quite often, had ear infections, et cetera. My now almost three-year-old, you know, has been in daycare since she was four months old. She's maybe, I got a comment from the doctor last time I went there. Wow. It's been a really long time since you've been here. And it's, I really, I owe it up to this. Um, I diffuse this every night in their diffusers while we, while they sleep. I also, um, create a roller. So you can buy these rollers on Amazon or they, there's a bunch of companies online. You know, I take the thieves oil and if using on an adult, I would put like eight to 10 drops. And then I roll this on my feet or you can also roll it on your spine. And this gives you that extra um, immunity that you need. And I mentioned before too, thieves is an oil that I love to put in in, on top of honey with hot water. I consider that sort of uh, an immunity boost that I'm internally in, ingesting. I like to do that if I'm feeling a little bit sick or a little bit icky, if my throat is really scratchy. And then I most recently um, have been doing what I like to call thieves bombs. So that's going back to these um, veggie capsules and just putting a couple drops in there and taking it internally. And my mom does that as well. She travels quite a lot. And she does that sort of as a preventative measure when she knows she's gonna be exposed to a lot of germs. So thieves, um, thieves by itself is something I, you know, I, I have witn witnessed firsthand that this is this has supported my children's immunity immensely. Um, you know, through, through the years. And I, and oftentimes I like to couple this with lemon. Lemon has also, um, you know, good uh, constituent and healing products for um, combating and, and helping boost the immune system as well. But, but this guy standing alone um, can do, can do quite a lot. And when you say um, a, use a veggie capsule, you yes. just drop it on the veggie capsule or you'll stick it into the veggie capsule. Yeah. So I'll, I'll actually make one live. So we, uh, I usually like to add, and I, I recommend, you don't have to, but you will be burping up the oil, which is not pleasant. Um, so I will, I add, so we'll say like, I'll do five drops. And so you can see now that that oil is in the capsule. And then I like to fill the rest up with vegetable, uh, not vegetable, uh, olive oil. And so I'll fill it to the top and then close that and sort of mix it up and then I'll take it internally. 
Um, so that's how you make uh, a veggie capsule. And there's, um, I'm jumping around a little bit, but I'll share the other, one of the other favorites too for digestion is digize. Um, and so I will often make a veggie capsule with digize as well. This is absolutely fantastic for upset stomachs, gas, bloating. Um, if you ever, ever had a meal where you feel like if you took one more bite, you might explode, uh, you could put a little bit of this and rub it on your belly. I mean, within minutes you have relief. Um, I've used this time and time again. This is a staple for me at Thanksgiving, <laughs> barbecues in the summertime. Um, I always have this in my purse. And like I said, you can rub it on your belly or you can take it um, internally. You can put it in tea. I personally do not like the smell. So I prefer to put it on a capsule. Is I use this. Sorry. Is there, is there any oil that you should not ingest, take internally, meaning, you know, um, digest? Yeah. So that's a great question. Um, the oils that I'm pulling from, from this, the, the starter kit, you'll notice, I'll put my thieves back in place. Um, you'll notice that they're white and then some of them have solid color labels. The white <laughs> labels are FDA approved to ingest internally. So those are the ones that, you know, you would be safe to do. Some oils um, like the thieves can be a little hot, um, which is why I like to put in the capsule. Um, but anytime you ever put anything on your skin, if you feel intense heat, you can always minimize that by putting on an argon oil, which I saw someone has used, um, olive oil, coconut oil. I use coconut oil all the time. When I make rollers, um, I forgot to mention, like I'll put the drops of oil I need and then I have coconut oil that I then just fill the, remain of the, or the remainder of the roller and I'm good to go. So you could use, really, they call it a carrier oil, but any kind of oil can be used to um, minimize when you feel that heat. A lot of people also love to blend um, a carrier oil with an oil when they apply it on. I'm oily, I'm super oily. I've been using these for four years, so I, I put directly on my skin. Um, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can always, you know, take the Valor, put it on your wrists, and apply like a pump of the coconut oil to, to dilute it. It will still have the same effect, um, diluted or not diluted. So you don't have to worry about that. So you still have some people asking about things that they use on their face. I believe Ellen and Marina were asking, yes. were telling you what they used. Yeah. Yep. So um, argan oil is a really good one for the face. Um, rose essential oil is, the absolute best. Um, Young Living in particular, they have a rose oil, but they have something called a rose CBD oil. I use that all the time. Um, I, the um, beauty products that Young Living has have transformed my skin. I always had relatively good skin growing up, but there were, my skin texture was never even. Um, I'm very, very fair skinned, so I would burn easily. Their sunscreen works fantastic, but their beauty products really has transformed. I don't break out anymore. I'm even toned. Um, the CBD, rose CBD oils, what is something that I use quite often. And I put a couple drops on my face and pat it. And um, it's a little bit more affordable than the direct rose essential oil that you can get. And um, so I, I find that I use that quite often. They have um, a couple different lines of beauty products that you could look into. Um, so for those of you who had questions, Bloom is one. I use that all the time. It's relatively new. Um, I know Helen, you had asked particularly what would be good for your skin. That Bloom line would be great. Um, their, their night cream in particular is wonderfully thick and has anti-aging. Um, I don't know exactly what the ingredients are, um, but that, that has nice anti-aging qualities to it too. Oh, you're on mute. Which cream? It's called Bloom Moisturizer. Bloom. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, and it's nice and thick. 
and that's, you know, it's great. It's, so it's, it hydrates your skin and has, you know, it has essential oils in it as well. I don't know the, 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 which ones off the top of my head. Um, and then I, I pair that with the rose CBD oil and I do that morning and night. I have a question as well. Have you handled that yeah. one? Yes. Okay. So we have a little backlog of questions from Facebook. Um, Terry Hilla Kaminsky says, what's the difference between doTERRA and Young Living? Yes. So those are both um, essential oils in the industry. I, I will share my personal experience. I did use doTERRA for my first pregnancy. I didn't find that it helped me the way that I was looking. Now, I didn't use as many of their products as I do for Young Living, so it's not a fair comparison. Um, but they are, you know, one of the individuals that started doTERRA came from Young Living. So I would say that they're very, probably very similar. Um, they don't have uh, oil called Thieves, but they have something very similar. So it does like immunity support. Um, so I would say, given my personal experience, I felt like I, um, it had a better, the Young Living oils had a better effect on my body and my emotions than when I used to do Terra, but that's my own personal opinion. Someone who uses do Terra might have, might say the same. So I always like to say to people to give it Young Living Oils a try if you've been using doTERRA. There's a lot of, of my friends who use doTERRA in the past and now only use Young Living. So it's really up to someone's personal preference. I, I, I also know that doTERRA is well, well thought of. So it's a good thing. Everybody try it out and see and decide for yourself. Now we have another question um, from uh, Karen Stoffer Weaver. She said, did they also apply the spices on their bodies, the ones that are in the thieves blend? I heard that, that and want to confirm if the story she heard was accurate. Would you know the answer to that, Diana? That, that who applies the, the clove? I guess the thieves who are coming to steal the goodies. Oh, they, they might have as sort of a protective barrier. Your skin is your largest organ in your body. Um, so that's, that's quite possible. Okay. That would have been smart of them. Yeah. To not only put it over their mouth and purify their air, but also to protect their skin. Another um, this also has high, like antibacterial and micro, um, I'm butchering the word. Um, but this has high like antibacterial um, qualities too. So they have like cleaners that have the thieves um, oils that I mentioned in it. They have laundry detergent, they have sprays and wipes and that all kills like bacteria. I use the cleaner in my entire house, but in particular in my kitchen, um, cause I feel like it's killing the bacteria um, that it needs to. That's so that makes, that makes total sense. They would put it all over their skin. Yeah, that is fantastic info because I like natural cleaners. Now, yes. we have another question uh, for, about pets and essential oils. Terry Hiller Kaminsky asked, which ones aren't good for pets if they're diffused? In other words, you might be using something for yourself or your family, but is there anything that is contraindicated for your pets? Yes, that's a great question. And, and one I have gotten before, I will say that I have a cat. I don't, I don't not diffuse anything. Um, there are one or two particular oils for cats that you stay away from, but I don't use them. Um, I'd have to go back and, and check. I can make a note of that and then pop it in. Um, and for the most part, I think dogs are fine too. Uh, they actually have a line of animal scents. So essential oils for animals. I use one on my cat. She gets very anxious when she goes to the vet. It's, um, and I drop that and on her fur and I just kind of pet it onto her. Um, and that helps calm her down when we're, we're going and have like less. That? Because we have a few pet lovers in the family, including me in the audience. Yeah. Which one? Are uh, you it's, called, it's called tea away. And you, so for, especially for dogs with fireworks, it's oh. supposed to work excellent. Um, and so I put it on my hands and dogs are different because they don't lick themselves. So I, I'm cautious about where I'm putting it on my cat. So I put it in areas where I know she's not going to lick it off. With dogs, you know, you could put it behind their ears. You could rub it on their backs. Um, you could diffuse it. 
knowing that the fireworks are coming or that like a anxiety ridden activity is coming up as well. Um, and then they also have oils for just like they do for humans. They have oils for um, cuts and stuff for, for pets as well. And they've got shampoos, natural shampoos and so forth. Now, Karen's tofu weaver seems to be very familiar with some of the oils that you've been mentioning and with the young collection. And she says she thinks she heard to be careful of diffusing thieves with dogs. Is that something that you would like to advise about? I, I'd have to look into it. I don't know. I, I, I really only know, my, I only have a cat, so I can't speak, but I know that there are many people who are very passionate about essential oils that have both cats and dogs. And um, I, I'm not aware of that many restrictions, but I will find, I will find out. I'll find out and, and put it into the chat. Wonderful. I was just going to ask you to do that because, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have the chat flowing and you come yeah. on in and any questions that haven't been answered on this particular call, perhaps you would be happy, you'd, you'd be able to answer them for us uh, afterwards. So no pressure. Go ahead. Go ahead, Diana. We've caught up with the questions. Sorry. I had to, I had yeah. to, I had to share them. Yes. No, that's okay. And so I'll just spend a couple more minutes. Um, so everything that's in this kit that I'm pulling things out of um, there, I talked about immunity support, but they, they really, the oils, there's 15 of them support every system in your body in some way. So emotional support, skin, muscular, skeletal, respiratory digestion and sleep. So I've, I've talked about immunity and talked about a digestion. I'll touch upon the additional ones that are also great for emotional support. But out of those categories, let me know which ones you maybe want to hear a little bit more about and I can share. So I said uh, respiratory, muscular, skeletal, um, skin, and sleep. So uh, you can. Respiratory would be probably a very hot topic right now. Yes, yes. So um, I'll, talk, I'll talk about respiratory. Any eucalyptus oils, um, we have three different kinds. It's eucalyptus globulus, eucalyptus radiata, and then there's eucalyptus blue. Those are all wonderful for respiratory support. Um, in the kit that I'm talking about, there's one called Raven. And then my um, Raven, kind of like the bird, the black bird. And then there's another one that's my personal favorite, um, RC. And I always get asked, well, which one is the best? And quite honestly, it, it depends on the individual. So we're all built and we all have different DNA. And quite honestly, it's really how the oils interact with your body. I personally do better with RC. My three-year-old does better with RC. My six-year-old does better with Raven. And that's just because of trying different things. Um, and I, you know, Raven I or RC or eucalyptus, I'll put um, on a wet cloth in the shower when I'm taking a shower or you could put it like on a, a like a steamer. Um, Young Living also sells like shower steamers, but there's other ways that you can, um, you know, do it. So put in the diffuser. Sometimes I put it in the shower with baking soda or sea salt. I'll put that on, I'm sorry, Epsom salt. I'll put that on when I go to take a bath. Um, I always like to put oils in the Epsom salt so that they dissolve within the Epsom salt before I put it in the tub so that the oils don't just lay on the surface on the top. But that's another way to kind of um, enjoy the bath, but then also get benefits um, for your respiratory system. And then I also just apply right on my chest. Um, or on your feet as well, correct? You could put it on your feet, yeah. So for anyone that's familiar with reflexology, just pretend these are my feet. Um, Reflexology is representative of like, there's all different points on your feet that represent parts of your body. So I always like to say to put it on your feet because your body will know what it needs to do with it. And so when you're slapping it on, if it's for your digestion, your respiratory your immunity, your, your body will interact and know what to do with it. Um, I, when I fly, I get always get sinus congestion. I don't know why I will put this. These are a little hot. Raven's a little hot. Um, but I'm super oily, so it's okay. <laughs> um, but I, I like to put on my sinuses too, and that helps relieve pressure for me. Um, and there's a lot that I've learned over the last couple of years where there's 
uh, emotions manifest in your body and come out in different ways. Um, so respiratory, um, uh, respiratory is tied to grief. And I can also share like from my firsthand experience, I lost somebody in October and immediately had like a very horrible upper respiratory system. And I was told by my oily friends that that was my body's way to sort of express my grief. So if you think about any time in your life where you've experienced grief and you've helped, felt that like heaviness in your chest, you can, and I did use these respiratory oils to help my body process what I was going through both emotionally and physically. Did you say um, so the oils are mostly eucalyptus based or there's a mix of a blend of, of oils that all- that's, uh, Yeah. That's a great question. All there's single, single oils. So they're just straight up the eucalyptus are just straight eucalyptus. And, you know, there's the three that I mentioned are variances of eucalyptus based on where they're sourced mm -hmm. or the different parts of the plant. Um, RC and Raven are what we call blends. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're pro there's probably eucalyptus in both. So Raven, pardon me, my eyes are Camper, lemon, wintergreen, and peppermint are in Raven. Um, so, so this is this is a really, really nice, beautiful blend. Um, but so you know, especially when the seasons change and everyone's having head colds, I I I proactively put this in the diffuser for my kids and for myself, knowing that we're probably going to get some funkiness um, in our heads or in our chests, and it's it's always been really, really helpful. Another question. We have yeah. um, Missy Chrissy asking, how do you do the wet cloth in the shower? And because uh, she wasn't sure of the, the actual mechanics of it. And do you just, yeah. can she just rub raw eucalyptus oil on her feet? You can, you can always just put any, any of the oils on your feet. Um, I like to take a wet rag. I have also tried spray bottles. And it's intense for like a minute, but then it subsides. Um, but you can take a wet rag and you pour the essential oils in it. And then as your shower is steaming, you get the benefits. It gets into the air and into the steam and you can benefit from that as well. I have also, I just did this because I had a little like upper respiratory sinus thing going on. Um, I created like my own tent. So I had my diffuser and I put the Respiratory oils, uh, respiratory oils in the diffuser, and I tented with a towel over my head, and allowed sort of having like a little respiratory dome around my face, and breathe that in for a couple of minutes, and that helped break things up. Can I see it again? Yeah. So it's the diffuser that I would normally use just to diffuse into the air, and I used this and. Um, turned it on, but I put a towel over my head and created like a dome and then just inhaled um, the respiratory oils. Okay, we have Karen Stoffer Weaver saying that she likes to add her um, oils to Epsom salts as well for baths because yes. the Epsom salts helps pull toxins and radiation poisoning out of your body. So she recommends it for once a week for clearing um, your body in any case with your favorite essential oils. I do. Um, I like to do something called a detox bath. And um, I, I put um, oregano, rosemary and thyme or basil, uh, uh, oregano, basil and thyme on um, Epsom salts into the tub. I will do that. You should do that once a week, but I'll do that when I'm feeling like I'm coming down with something. I do that when my kids are getting sick and it's I mean, I feel like it helps my children's body sort of get rid of whatever virus they're fighting in a much quicker fashion. And I've seen that for myself as well. Yes, baths are a perfect way to relax and then also take in lavender. Um, I know we're at time, but there's two oils that I love for emotional support. We did um, have a question about emotional support from Chrissy. Yep. Oh, perfect. Um, so emotional support. Again, the kit that I'm sharing, there's like 15 oils in here and 10 of them are emotional support. Anything citrus related, grapefruit, lemon, we have a blend called Citrus Fresh, which puts everything together. Orange, 
Um, we have an oil called, I think it's called bergamot, but any type of um, citrusy oil is amazing for emotional support because it helps uplift, um, uplift your spirits. If I wake up and I'm just in a funk, like ever wake up and you're just like, it's immediately on the wrong side of the bed, I will go right to my um, citrus oils and diffuse them. And I feel like it's like sort of allowing me just to melt and relax for a second. So any type of citrus oil is fantastic for emotional support. Um, peace and calming. I wish, this is other ones I wish too you guys could smell. I can't even put my finger on what this is, but um, this is for me, has a very special connection because this is my delivery oil. I poured this on my, all over my body constantly. Um, and the nurse commented on the fact that I was one of the calmest mothers she's met going through labor. And it was, it, I mean, this was like, my arms were almost green because this has a very dark color, I'll show you. Um, because I kept pouring it on so much. Um, <laughs> but it was, you know, that was, that was emotionally supporting me during my labor and helping me calm down. And then the other, which um, for those of you who get to live by the ocean all the time, I'm envious, but this is called stress away. And this smells like you're sitting on a beach. So what, you know, how could you not feel more relaxed when you diffuse this, I love diffusing this with lavender. Um, I love putting lavender in this on Epsom salts for the bath. Um, and this is such a nice calming um, combination with the lavender or lavender by itself uh, for emotions. A lavender also is a very, it's like called the Swiss army of oils. It is fantastic for sleep. It's fantastic also for stress. Any of these oils um, for emotions, I think are very impactful in inhaling or applying. I like to apply on my neck or my wrists because those are places that I know, you can see that I talk with my hands quite a lot. I know then I'll have the benefit of being able to smell um, and without having to, you know, putting on my neck, I, I carry a lot of stress here. Um, so that's a great place to put uh, those emotional oils. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Those are my. The, I mean, there's so many more. That Gary protocol that I shared at the beginning. So the joy and the harmony. Those are all also amazing for emotional support. I mentioned the tree oils. Those are amazing for grounding. For those who have meditation practices, I will. I'm hoping one day to be able to attend those morning, the Monday morning ones, um, in in this group. But. Um, uh, any sort of tree oil is fantastic for meditation. It's super grounding. And by that, I just mean, it's like make, I, when I put them on, I feel like I'm in the middle of a forest and I just feel like I'm one with, with the earth and which is, you know, amazing when there's so much going on in this world. Um, so I smell those, I feel super grounded and frankincense is another one. That's really great, um, for spirituality, for meditation, for yoga. Um, I mean, I could go on and on. There's so many, so many oil, different types of oils out there. Um, and you guys all had such fantastic questions. So any other questions before we, we finish up? I'm going to open up the screen so that everybody can see you. I mean, so you can see everybody, sorry. Okay. All right. Any questions, you guys? Ellen, you, you got the answer to your question about skin earlier. Awesome. Okay. And then, it, I, I, Wendy, I just wanted to share in case people have more questions after this, or you're wondering how do I get information about some of the products that you talked about, whether it's oils or the facial things um, or the cleaner that I mentioned, I've provided a link in the chat. And I can also go and, and put that in the Facebook group as well. This is my webpage. Um, so you can get my contact information. You can um, look into some of the bundles that I talked about today. So this is, you know, this, the kit that I kept referring to with the 15 oils, this is the starter kit. Um, the one at the very beginning I talked about was the daily protocol, the Gary's daily protocol, that's all in there. 
And then I curated like my favorite products. Um, I, I will offer for everyone that's joined today, a also like a free 30 minute consult. So if you wanna sit and talk about some of the things you're looking to hope to get support on, I can help put together um, a wellness plan for you as well. So when you click on my website, you go at the top and just shoot me an email and we can set up time um, to get to know each other a little bit, bit, a little bit better. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much, uh, Diane. I thought it was fascinating. And we got some, one, some really good questions from, from both Facebook and in this group. So I think that you captured their imagination. Some, some people had been using essential oils, some people have been using them, but they needed more information and you really provided that. So thank you so much. And yeah. I, will, I will invite you to um, add your information to the chat when I create the, um, the edited video and put it out there. Okay, so you'll have a chance to share, <clears throat> to share again. Thank you guys for coming. We're going, I'm going to stop the recording now and I will also stop the live stream. So stand by. Thank you.